ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Social media owes me an apology, okay? Um, this is my toxic trait as a Leo. As a Leo, and y'all know I, I claim it, like, Leos can be sometimes, you know, arrogant. We like, you know, pats on the back when we're right. Now, y'all remember, who remembers years ago, I kept telling y'all, these two fools are not together. Remember years ago, I told y'all, Jada Pinkett Smith was fucking on that little boy, August Alcina. Put a teacup, can, can I get some teacups? Who remembers when I told y'all years ago, before the whole entanglement thing, I said she's fucking this little boy, August. The way she's smiling. He, you know what I'm saying? Her eyes are lit up when she's around him. She's getting some new peen. When she's on the red carpet, Will Smith, she just looks dead in the eye. She's tired of that old dick. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all this. Thank you, teacups. Yes. I told y'all years ago she was fucking August. Everybody said I was a hater. I was trying to denounce black love. How dare I talk about Will and Jada? Oh, I used to get drugged. All right. And I also told y'all too, I don't feel bad for Will because he has a Latina girlfriend. Who remembers when I said he had a Latina girlfriend? I told y'all this literally like four or five years ago. I said, Will Smith has a girlfriend. She's Latina. Watch her Instagram. When she's in Egypt, he's in Egypt. When he's in Dubai, this broad is in Dubai. Y'all can write her name. I always forget the Latina girl's name, the spicy girl. Y'all write her name. I be forgetting her name. But that's been his girlfriend for a few years. I've been saying this for years. I'm so glad my tea sippers remember because folks used to drag me. Like, you're just, you're so disrespectful. They're couple goals. Fuck you, bitch. You're just mad. Okay, whatever. So now, ah, let's go ahead and pull out our tiny violins, bitch, because I told y'all this shit years ago, okay? Now she's coming out, okay, and saying that her and Will have been separated since 2016. Oh my God! That is when I told y'all. They were not together. I'm like, she's fucking August. He got a Latina girlfriend. Jada Pinkett Smith just confirmed everything I've been telling y'all. Okay? Yes! Teacups and violins in the house. Okay? You know what? This is like the best present you ever gave me. I swear. Because, child, I love this little tiny violin. Okay? Best present for my tea sipper. So we are about to watch Jada basically confirm everything I have been saying, T. Grodamus has been saying for the past five years about the Smiths, okay? So we're gonna get out your tiny violins because you know I don't give a shit about either one of them. They're both crazy as cat shit. So let me go ahead and pull up this video of uh, Jada talking to, I think, Good Morning America or somebody, hoodie. And she's talking about her... You know, her issues and, you know, how they've been broken up. You know, once again, embarrassing Will. Because, you know, I get it. You know, things don't work out. People break up. But I don't think Will wanted this out here. Like, y'all, you could have just kept doing your thing. He could have been doing his thing with the Latina. Like I told y'all, Jada was moving sloppy. At least with Will, he was very, you know what I'm saying? He was, you know, we're just nosy as fuck on social media. But, you know, Will's had his little, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to Miami. You know, he was talking to her before, too. The, you know, yeah. yeah. Um, but the thing is, Will moved more classy with it. She was sloppy. She was sloppy. Remember, they were at the BET Awards together, her and August. I'm like, he's not nominated for shit. You don't fucking sing or rap. Like, why? What, what are y'all doing at the BET Awards together? Remember his outfit was all disheveled and shit? She had that smile. I see they just got done smashing probably in the limousine. Like, all I felt was, like, just sexual energy from them from the picture. She was cheesing this shit. Just... <laughs> and then he was all extra happy. You know, so I'm like, I could just tell, you know? But, so we're going to listen to her, you know, just, you know, continue to embarrass Will. Um... And her situation ship child. So let's go ahead and have a good kiki. <laughs> Give me just a second to share my screen. I've been waiting. I was like, oh, she's finally trying to admit to the bullshit she's on. Okay, cool. 
All right, she's also peddling a book. So, you know, she got to peddle her books. We're going to watch this here. There's so many surprising things in the book. The thing that surprised me the most, I actually had to reread it. As I said, is this true? Is that in 2016, you and all decided that you were going to live completely single lives? Yes. It was not a divorce on paper. Right. But it was a divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago, <laughs> yes. y'all have been but in public, the couple who married in 1997 denied the gossip about their marriage. This interview on Bravo's Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen was taped a year after Will and Jada separated. So, so you know? 23 years? Wow. How can you keep it hot? Um, how do I keep it hot? Maybe I... Fuck it, August! For the next several years, Jada and Will kept up the appearance of a committed married couple. They even faced a scandal when Jada had what she called an entanglement with a family friend. Neither let the public know they had already split. So I guess my question is, I feel like you're a straight talker. Except you're not sometimes. So why do that? Like, what was the reason? I think just not being ready yet. Still trying to figure out between the two of us. Yeah. How to be in partnership right? in regards to how do we present that to people? You know, we had not figured that out. During our walk to Baltimore, Jana reflected on their breakup. Why did the relationship fracture? Oh, why it fractured? That's a lot of things. And I think by the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying kind of still stuck in our fantasy of what we thought the other person should be. Jada says she considered a legal divorce, but could never go through with it. I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through whatever we just haven't been able to break. You still live separately. We live separately. <laughs> This comment's got me dying. Somebody said seven years a slave. I'm not fooling with y'all tonight. These comments got me cracking up. Girl, bye. Next, she's trying to peddle that book. You know you can sell your book without constantly embarrassing Will. Will ain't, we ain't heard nothing from Will since that dry ass apology a year after he slapped Chris Rock, okay? Um, you could have peddled your book and just left all that out of there. It's a mess. It's a mess. I told y'all, you know, she she moved like a sloppy man. Like somebody said in the chat, she was moving like a sloppy man. Again, if they had some type of, what is that? Like some type of like contract or, you know, agreement that they were going to date other people on the low. You know, sometimes marriages, they kind of fizzle out, whatever. They've been together for a long time. You know, he wants to low-key see other people. She wants to low-key get some side pain. She should have moved better. You know, you don't start dating your son's friend, you know. And it's just like, on top of that, she really got in August's head. And I told y'all that. When everybody was used to try and drag him and be like, he's being messy. When he made that song, Karen, which is Jada's uh, middle name. And, you know, he had been, like, dropping little seeds to like, you know, him being hurt from an older woman. And like I told y'all, y'all can't get mad at him because he was 23. She was in her 50s. She was playing head games with him. Where y'all think that I'ma leave Will came from? I told, when, when people are intimate with each other, sometimes people say shit they don't necessarily mean, but it feels good at the time. So I told she, I said she was riding that little boy. She was like, I'ma leave Will. I'ma leave Will. I'ma, I'ma, I'ma leave Will. She was bouncing. Y'all know August is hung up above. She was bouncing out that bumpy. She was like breaking that little boy off. 
Imagine you are a 23-year-old big dick August Alcina and you're fucking Jada Pinkett Smith, okay? Like, she literally, like, was messing with that boy's head. Had him thinking that eventually their love was so strong, she was going to leave Will. Absolutely not. Now, I might fuck you, you know, a few times a week, but I'm not leaving Will, okay? That's the breadwinner there. You don't make Will Smith money. So, she kept playing with him, you know, with that whole, that's why I got the joke from, I'm going to leave Will. Because that's what, probably what she was telling him while they were sleeping together. She was riding his ass, talking about, I'm going to leave Will. I'm going to leave Will. I'm a, uh, you know what I mean? So, she was putting it on him. Telling him how she's going to leave Will. And he's thinking she's going to leave Will. And she was like, psych, not leaving Will. Okay? So, again, if that was a female, let's keep it real. If that was Will Smith, you know what I'm saying? Dicking down a 23-year-old, saying, I'm going to leave Jada. I'm going to leave Jada. I'm gonna, you know what I mean? Same thing. So I feel like she was playing mind games with him. So to me, she was moving like a sloppy man, period, point blank. She shouldn't have been talking to August. You know, she was going to go date somebody else. She could have just dated somebody, you know, a bit more mature. Because he's, you know, he was 23. He was really, really childish. So it was like... He was in his feelings. Imagine she has to put on a persona and a front to the public that she's still with Will, but the whole time he's so in love with her. You know what I'm saying? And she, I believe, was in love with him as well. So, and then to like bring it onto the red table talk and call it an entanglement. Girl, bye. You was getting some side dick, okay, from the pool boy, okay? It wasn't no entanglement. She done seen them same pictures we done seen on social media. Was like, I'm about to bob up on that shit, okay? So... Again, I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not surprised at all. But I can't feel bad. Yeah, that's her name. Thank you. Heidi De La Rosa. That's the spicy Latina that Will Smith be dating on the side. Heidi. So, again, that's why I said I don't, you know, everybody's like, oh, that's fucked up. Will was crying on the red table talk. He looked defeated. Y'all yeah, keep giving Will all this sympathy, but Will got a girlfriend too. That's why I said I don't feel bad for either one of them. She's messy. She's definitely messy. But Will got his own little side piece, too. So, you know, they're both doing stuff on the side. So I, I don't, you know, they have an open marriage at this point. You know, that's on them. But she just picked the wrong person. That's where she messed up at. She, you know, August. And now she done messed up so bad. Yes, August is with a boy. I'm like, well, what the hell? August knows damn well he ain't got no business. Like, just what, what happened? Like, damn. Now he's gay. August, his boyfriend is fine. Two fine-ass black men just off the market for us. Just off the market. All because of Jada. Fuck. <laughs> I, his boyfriend fine, though. Yeah, August got a boyfriend. <laughs> they, I don't, they posted the picture, little boy, on social media. His boyfriend is fine. I like this about a bitch. Now we done lost two more black men. I blame Jada. <laughs> I blame Jada for the slap. I blame her for August going gay. Damn it, Jada. <laughs> Somebody said uh, August was fucking the whole family, including the son. Y'all are messy. Get out my chat. <laughs> Get out my chat. <laughs> they said August was fucking the whole family. Y'all are messy as hell tonight. I swear. Yeah. So I, I don't I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. You know, soul ties are real. You know, Jada was doing too much. You know, Will Pac. She done had Will, you know, Will turned into Tupac. She done talked about Pac so much. Wasn't she uh commenting on Keefe D the other day? I said, damn, here we go again. Yeah, you know, I heard about it. I just wanted to say rest in peace, Tupac, Jada. Just just stop. Just stop. Just quit embarrassing Will, sis. <laughs> Y'all know Will Smith is a calm man. We ain't never seen Will Smith act like that. Okay? He was like, she's still in love with Tupac. Keep my fucking wife's name out your mouth. He was projecting all of that anger onto Chris Rock. He was really mad at August. He wanted to say, keep your big dick out my wife's mouth. Okay, I'm done. We gotta, we gotta get off this topic. I'm done. Oh my gosh, I'm done. That's really what he wanted to say. 
Okay. Okay. He was like, damn, she over here fucking this little boy and shit. But then, you know, poor Chris Rock, you know what I'm saying? He got the brunt of Will Smith's anger, cuz. He got the brunt of Will Smith's anger. You know, Chris Rock, I'm just telling a joke. Will Smith walked up there like fucking Will Pocket shit and just bitch slapped him. Bam! Like, man, Jada got these dudes out here wilding. She got them out here wilding. But, you know, Jada, you know, I I'm still a fan. I've been a fan since a different world. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Their situation don't affect me one way or another, but it's funny to talk about. You know, it's definitely funny to talk about. But I wish her the best with her book. You know, good luck with the sales of the book. <laughs> if you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.